Alright, here we go. Uh, in other waters. Log recovered. Recovering last known log. Attention. Uh, there ain't no time left. This is gonna be more... Uh, than you are used to. But you are resourceful. I know you. I'm sorry, Oki. But I can't. Let them find you. I can't lose everything we achieved here. User disconnected. Um, hello, is someone there? This is Dr. El Elry Vaz. I urgently need all systems of this suit activating. I've been locked out and I'm 20 meters below the surface here. I say again, this is Dr. Ellery Vaz. Can any operator personas on this suit please respond? Um. Please respond. I need assistance. Pilot authorization granted. see utility power oxygen heading depth scan scan topography scan and topography readouts coming through looking good heading I'm seeing the heading panel coming online excellent depth okay the depth panel is active Currently reading of 20 meters. Go, I go, this is how we go up and down. We've got our oxygen, brief breather functioning, and the power for the suit. Plenty of juice. I wouldn't say plenty, but all right. Okay, utilities available. Let's see, sampling, sampling storage, terminal, and retrieval seem to return. Um, I guess we'll just figure it out from here. Is it like, uh... Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not an operator. Uh, then what are you? Why are you installed in the suit? Help me out here. I knew there was something strange about the suit when I got inside. It looks decades old. Look, we don't have time for this, so whatever program or system you are, I need you to work with me. You seem to respond to voice commands, so that's a start. I, we, we need to head north. I'll explain once we get going, but right now I'm locked out of half the system of the suit. Someone somehow has rewritten the permissions to only respond to internal messaging, and that means you. Us. So, I'm going to need you to take control. Let's get moving. Take me north into the reef. Alright, Doc. Let's head north. You told me I didn't know what I was doing, and I don't. Um, that's a scan. Uh... That this is fine. Scan. Southern Gully. Feature. Observation. Steep rock walls rise up towards the surface on either side. The floor is layered with pale sand. Oh, this scans. Oh. This was our heading. Southern Gully. Vector clear. Go. We're moving in our suit. Good. Whatever you're doing, it's working. Let's keep heading north. Uh, 
looks like we try to find a spot. We find a spot. It's a narrow pass. A boulder fills the passage, blocking out warm light of Gleese 667. Three stars. Uh... mark where we've been. This is a nice gully opening. You can see it all over here. Here the passage opens out back into the dappled light of the reef's shadow. Can we take a sample? I guess it's not asking us to. Looks like we can't anyway. Uh, let's just go this way for now. soft currents. The softly flowing water is filled with glittering particles of organic matter. Signs of rich and thriving life are all about. Great, let's go. This is our life. Look in the water. Are those spores? And those stalks to the west? They look like huge fungi. This is unbelievable. Actually, alien life. How could Minet have kept this place a secret. I saw her notes as at the base when I landed, and some telltale signs on the approach. But it is here. First extraterrestrial life humanity has ever discovered. The first extraterrestrial? I can't believe it. So we're on an ocean on another planet. She said to head, well, isn't that west? Whatever. We got stalks. Beds of these creatures coat the pale rocks. Are these plants or animals? They are unlike any earth coral or sponge. We've got fungal creatures made up of sears, stalks, and plates attached to the rock. These stalks are beautiful. I wonder how they feed, how they grow, how they communicate. Uh, oh, cool. We have a data gather point. We have a nursery. This place, this planet needs to be studied. Keep scanning creatures and all. Keep notes. Once we've gathered enough data, I can name and log each species. No matter what happens here, this is vital work. This creature's external membrane appears to be made of layers of chitin, like Earth's arthropods or fungi. Great. Uh, let's see if we can aim. We only aim towards waypoints. Okay, sure. What are those creatures? They were hidden among the stocks, quickly trying to get a scan. Well, that wasn't gonna happen, huh? Algae creatures stripped with luminous colors, these flexible flapping creatures move rapidly through the water. These are lovely, lively creatures and colorful too. I'll start logging my observations. Uh, this the same thing. Siphon jets concealed beneath their flooded mantles. They are incredibly fast. Okay, we're still not ready for that. We've got lots of O2, I think. Oh wow, it must be a, like a bodysuit. You can see the inhalation, exhalation. That's a cool detail. Lots of power. Can't go up or down, still. Seems like our next waypoint. Going through a nice clearing. These stocks are covered in spores of all sizes. Perhaps we can sample one of the larger ones. Nice. Sample. I'm in position. You'll have to take the sample. Open up the sampling utility. Oh, here it is. Oops. Surrounded it. Grabbed it. We've got one. Vital tools for analyzing understand creatures. Great. 
but this suit should allow you to deploy and sample back into the ocean. How about you test it out, hold and drag it over the central compass. Hold and drag it over the central compass. Deploy inside line. Uh, great, this is working as it should. Look, those creatures are coming for the spores. Why these ones particular, I wonder? Perhaps different spores carry different compounds, each with a specific purpose or message. What do you think? Could the spores be a way of communicating between different colonies? Uh, sure. This isn't that strange fungi on Earth. From networks of exchange, maybe these stocks do the same. Anyway, sorry, I'm not sure why I... Let's keep moving. Okay, I don't know if I can grab those. But, uh, seems like a nice little game. Spore flow. Spores from the main part of the reef are brought into the southern nurseries here by steady current. I found out about this game from, I think his name is Adam Miller. He's, uh, the one that has, like, the hood over his head. He's one of the, uh, one of the gaming reviewer essay types hey can i ask you something no forget it then oh wow i can say no excellent seeing a complex pattern of contradicting and expanding silts in the stalk's membranes mouths and sensing organs these colonies are producing a shifting hum perhaps it's a form of communication between individuals We're in a silent clearing. But yeah, his essay was, and this was an essay. I guess he was just talking more about indie games that you might've missed or something of the sort. And this one seemed like it was really up my alley. Bed of stocks. I'm seeing spores entering and exiting the silts on the surface of the stock. Something is being exchanged. Colonies seem to be broken up into individual patches, then larger groups over a wide area. Huge rocks sits among layers of lichen. Could it have been thrown away here during a vol uh, volcanically, uh, volcanically active period in the planet's history? My bad. Um. Yeah, it seems like a really cute game. I like ocean stuff. Uh, it's pretty minimal and pretty indie. Uh, typically, I'm not someone who plays like AAA shooters or like MMORPGs, anything of that sort. So this is way more up my alley than that. Uh, I think we clicked that one already, actually. I'm uploading my initial notes. Let's call these reef stocks. We can classify the species in the lab. Uh, looks like there's not a ton this way. Let's just go this way. But the whole thing is pretty minimal, which is nice. And it looks like a pretty short game, and after all the opus stuff, uh... It's exciting to be looking at something that's not 20 some odd hours. I was thinking about doing something that was 20 hours. I got excited about it and whatnot, and I was like, gosh, I really should probably not. It's a long rift, this thing. Wide and long, with sheer rock walls on either side, this deep rift channels unpredictable currents. Let's see if we can hurt ourselves if there's some unpredictable currents coming out from this area oh we can go over it strong current flecked with spores water runs fast and hard so you can't push any further north here with that better propulsion all right so it's gonna stop me that's fine i just needed something a little bit more chill after opus it's exciting to uh to finally finish but now we're on to something nice and different 
These huge stalks are incredible, each one a vertical ecosystem. Static creatures make up one huge, flexible stalk, unclear if swaying is due to current. They are leaking spores into the water as fruiting bodies attached to their skin bloom. Uh... Many of these stalks are leaking particles onto the water as they sway. Are those spores or something else? Large growths, these large stalks sway all around the basin. They almost resemble branchless trees bending in the storm. It feels like this is subnautica minimalism. Did you see that? The stalks responded to our movement. They extended as we passed through the arch. Perhaps it was a sound we made when we moved through. We should be careful not to get trapped here. The suit's power capacity is limited. Chitin of the stalks. Membranes hard but flexible. It's given by surface of overlapping plates. Feeding grounds. There's a lot of activity among the rocks ahead. Creatures are grazing on and living amongst the stalks, forming a complex ecosystem. Look, over to the southwest, that stock is totally calcified. Looks like a good sample candidate. Which one she's talking about? This one? The plates? Yeah, that, that's gotta be it, right? Calcified stock, oh my bad. So it looks like, duh, we can only go to the triangles. She wants to go here. The stock looks dead. Open up the sampling panel. We can extract that outer membrane. Harden with calcium carbonate that could be useful if we need to boost our power. This suit is able to metabolize organic compounds to produce fuel. Just drag them near the power panel. Suit's power. The suit displays how much oxygen and power each sample can produce. No point wasting important samples. can keep one sample and then boost the other. Is this another one? Well, our power seems fine for now. Oh, uh, whoops. Yeah, let's just keep going in that direction. I'm curious how this is going to be more interesting. Are we going to come across something other than some plants or something scary? Hmm. These creatures must be related to other stalks on the reef, but seem to have a separate purpose to the lower beds. It's safe to assume this singing of the stalks relates to the communication between colonies seen elsewhere on the reef. We have almost all of our data gathered. Bear Canyon, the rocks here have a clear stalks and other growths. Is their absence a ter territorial marker or just a side effect of those conditions of the water? There's a drop here. I've never been scuba diving in the wild ocean, but it's something I would absolutely love to do. The water is still yawning entrance to the cavern. There are no signs of stocks or other reef life around the entrance. I think it's kind of scary, I know, with all the deep water and stuff, but I don't know. I think it's really peaceful to be underwater, even in a pool or something. It just... <sighs> There's just something about it. More patches. The patchy sunlight coming through the broken cavern roof is enough to allow stalks to grow here, if that is what they require. Um... 
<clears throat> a tall, bubble-coated stalk which sits among roof stock colonies. These stalks seem to watch over the smaller colonies. I'll start logging notes. We have a glittering stalk. Soft sunlight spills down onto the long, thin stalk, stretching towards the light. A coating of large, glossy, glassy bubbles glitters on its skin. Clogged tunnel. Stocks mesh around the cavern here, hardened onto a near solid wall of tubes and plates. Can we go there? Uh, rescan. Get lichen or lichen. This is our original one. This is a spherical gas filled membrane. These gaseous bubbles are intriguing. This will give us oxygen. <laughs> Try deploying one by the block tunnel over there. I want to see how the stocks react. Just drag one over. I was wrong. It's a little little bomb area. They retract it. These bubbles must be some kind of signaling system. I'll call them shrill sacks for that squeak. We can use these to get through the heavy growth ahead. Let's get moving. All right, had to take a little bit of a break. Didn't see that coming, but it looks like we can have some shortcuts. Space to scan, control or set heading and move. Control and W, sure. So scan. And we can head towards the clogged tunnel and go forward. No, we can't. What was it? Do we have to deploy this here? Oh no! Stocks mesh across the cavern here, hardened into near solid wall of tubes and plates. This is where we came down, right? Oops, that's all we had to do is go back to here, collect it. A spherical gas filled membrane produced by stocks. This is the one that clears the way. All right, we're in business. Sorry, that took a second to get back to where we were. We're at a blind corner. The cavern curves away in both directions here. It's hard to see the way ahead. I 
hope we go deeper. So I guess you're wondering where we're heading. There's a way station just north of here on a finger of the screen. I want to find it. My shuttle touched down just hours ago at a floating research base to the south. That's where I found the suit. I'm here, looking for a Dr. Minet. Nomura. Chasing a message, all the way from Earth. That must sound mad, coming out here to a planet in the tail of Scorpius just to follow a message. Wait, do you? Do you know where we are? Don't you? Let's lie, sure. Are you sure? I wish we could talk properly, but this suit doesn't seem able to look like it's, it looks like it's been through a lot. It looks far older than Manet's base. Did she bring it with her? Look, let's find that way station. Then I can start piecing together what's going on. Are we Manet? Have we killed Manet? Who are we? Cavern entrance. Current can be felt drifting through the cavern entrance, bringing with it the warmth, I think. Back up we go. 